Hey guys, God bless you. Um, I wanted to share the word with you guys today and a couple of encouraging dreams that are um, really just spot on what we're going through um, and just really edifying. Like when I woke up from these dreams, it was just really refreshment for my soul. So I pray that that you guys were refreshed from it as well and that the word would just wash over you and regenerate you as it does for me. Um, before I get into it, though, I'm just going to open in prayer. Father, I just thank you, God, for your holy word. <clears throat> thank you for just the way you love us uh, and that you that you even love us. This is amazing. And that you first loved us, not that we first loved you. And we didn't first choose you, but you first chose us. So I thank you, Father, for first love. <clears throat> and I pray, Lord, that if... Uh, some people are needing to go back to that first love. I pray they would, Lord, and that a fire would be stoked in them, Lord. They burn for you and not for anyone else or anything else, but you and you alone. Be the glory, the honor, and the praise. And I just thank you, God. And I pray, God, that um, that their lives would be changed through you and your word, Lord, and your truth that sets us all free. <clears throat> And I thank you, Father, and I pray, Father, that uh, that you would just um, illuminate our steps today, Lord, and that you would be, uh, you'd use me as a conduit, Lord, as a vessel, as a mouthpiece, that would be your oracle, Lord, uh, be your battle axe, God. And I just thank you, God, that your word would go forth and you would be glorified in this message. And that anybody that doesn't know you, God, I pray they would encounter you and taste and see that you are good. Your word says that who shall ever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved in Romans ten thirteen. So I pray that they would call out to you. And that's not just an eternal salvation. That's a here and now salvation that we all need. And I thank you in the name of, I ask this in the only, the name above all names of the only begotten Son of God, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, so I want to share the, the dreams that I had and then just go into some of the word on it. Um, so the first dream was just so encouraging. Uh, it was just, it wasn't a long dream. It was just short. But in the dream, I'm inside the house and it's daytime outside. Um, but like I'm in the house and all of a sudden, like it starts to get dark outside during the day, which this is impossible. <clears throat> so what happened was it was like a, some kind of a eclipse was going on that was not planned or scheduled. Um, see, that's the thing is like people think that we can put God in a box or have them all pegged out on it on whatever but there's no box big enough to contain him for he is infinite he is vast beyond our comprehension or understanding um, and God's timing is perfect and it's appointed uh, even if we don't fully understand it or comprehend it that's okay because he says to trust in him you know to not lean on our own understandings all our ways you know acknowledge him and he shall direct our paths so <clears throat> when that happened, like I saw it get dark out and I ran outside and so I saw it eclipse it and I just started shouting, Jesus is coming. You know, it's like really, really loud. And I just kept shouting it and I was just like looking up into the, into the sky, expecting that the sky would, you know, be rent in two and he'd come down. Um, and so that after, you know, I kept saying that the dream ended and I woke up um, and then I went back to sleep. It was like four or something, I think. And then I went back to sleep. And <clears throat> the other dream I had was I was in this kind of like a school type setting. It was kind of like maybe a, some kind of field trip. Um, it, it wasn't like grade school, but I'm thinking maybe high school, college type setting. Um, and in it. Um, uh, I'm told kind of like reprimanded by one of the teachers, uh, or one of the people that were in charge saying that, you know, you, you represent this school. And I said, no, I represent Jesus Christ. And, and then it was kind of like, a an end to it. There's other details that are not really, uh, relevant to that. Um, but that was the main thing I wanted to share 
in that dream um, is that we are represents you know we represent christ his holy name his holy banner and standard uh, and we're ambassadors for christ you know ministers of reconciliation regardless if we're one day in the faith one second in the faith or we've been in the faith pretty much all of our lives you know um so what i wanted to share in reference to the first dream was in luke chapter 21 verse 25 uh, because and i've shared this previously but this is so um pivotal to really what's going on and then what is to come as well um so it's Luke chapter 21, verse 25. It says, There will be signs in the sun and the moon and stars and on the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men fainting from fear and expectation of what is coming on the earth. <clears throat> For the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption is drawing near. <clears throat> and so that's what I was doing in this in the first dream. Is like this ev uh, event in the sky was happening with the sun, and you know it, it was just like um, it was a. Uh, it was a thing out of the ordinary that was supernatural because, like I said, it wasn't planned. Nobody knew about this. It just happened. It was a suddenly type thing that happened. Um, it was a supernatural thing that happened. Uh, <clears throat> so these things are coming. Uh, you know, these distression, distresses of nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. Uh, you know, so these uh, judgments you know, that we're seeing throughout the, you know, the United States, throughout the world, you know, we're seeing them and they're going to increase with greater frequencies because the coming of the Lord is at hand and all eyes, you know, are going to see it, you know, as far as, you know, they're, the son of man is coming, you know, and he's coming on a cloud of great power and glory as the word says, uh, and this was like in the dream when I ran out there and I was shouting, you know, it's like, Jesus is coming. And then I'm looking up, like expecting him to come because it says when these things begin to happen, that's when we need to look up and lift up our heads. So they're, they're kind of in the very, very, you know, um, startings of a lot of things. They're not, at least as far as the frequencies are not really like turned up turned up like what we read about here we're going to see this increase and increase as these days go on um so yeah i wanted to share that uh and then uh i wanted to share um in acts chapter four uh, a little backstory um peter and john they're taken before the sanhedrin and question about this uh, man who was crippled, you know, for all these years, and they lay hands on him and and command him in the name of Jesus Christ to be made well. So it was the name, but also the faith in the name. It's not just enough to say the name; we have to have the relationship, you know. So because it says uh, in Corinthians, First Corinthians four twenty, he says that the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. So. It's not just enough to say the name of Christ. We have to have the relationship to back it, you know, with the power and authority that comes given by Jesus Christ, you know, to, to do what he's called us to do. <clears throat> so we start off, pick up in um, verse, so it's chapter, Acts chapter 4, verse 7. It says, when they had stood them in the midst, they asked, by what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of this people and elders of Israel, if we today are being examined concerning a good deed done to a crippled man, how this man has been healed, be it known to you all and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. By him this man stands before you whole. He is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. And there is no salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men which must be saved. <clears throat> so when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were illiterate and uneducated men, they marveled and they recognized that they had been with Jesus. So that's so important. Um, we'll go back over that in a second and I'll just finish up with these last verses. Um, verse 14 says, but seeing the man who was healed standing with them, they had nothing to say against it. So when they had commanded them to go outside, outside of the Sanhedrin, they conferred among themselves saying, what shall we do to these men? For indeed that an acknowledged miracle has been done through them is revealed to all who dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But lest it spread further among the people, let us threaten them that they no longer speak to anyone in this name. Then they called them and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, Whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you more than to God, you judge. For we cannot help but declare what we have seen and heard. But when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding no way to punish them because of all because of the people. For all glorified God for what was done. For the man on whom this miracle of healing was performed was over forty years old. <clears throat> so that's the thing. Is like we are going to do these miracles um, and they're going on now but as the darkness increases god raises up a standard against the enemy so we will increase in christ and you know it's we're we're seeing you know perilous times come uh but the thing about it is it's nothing to what's coming ahead and god like the thing about this is like you know, the word says in Isaiah 60 that darkness is going to cover the earth and gross darkness of people. But it says, but our light will arise and we will shine. <clears throat> so that's by the power and the name that we will do the great exploits is through the Lord Jesus Christ. The same power that rose Christ Jesus from the grave lives in us. And he said that as he walked, we will walk. And he said that we will do great exploits in him. And he said, great, we do what he did and greater because he went to the Father. And the, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit of God, lives in us. And that's how we can do these things. Like, it's nothing that anybody can do on their own, in their own power or might or wisdom or intellect. Uh, and we're not bold on our own, you know. Um, it's... You see that in verse 8, it says, Then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit. So it's it's about being filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit speaking through us as the conduit, as the vessel for his power and his love, uh, being an oracle for God. See, what right now is going on is people are rejecting the stone the chief cornerstone as they did then they're doing it now but even greater frequency uh, we're seeing that and it's not just enough to name the name of Christ but your actions have to back up your words because otherwise you're just a hearer and not a doer uh, and you're gonna miss it you know we don't want to miss it we don't want to miss anything that the Lord has for us or for others because we never know he might want to use you to reach somebody you know, or to reach multiple somebodies. And remember that it's not about uh, quantity with God. It's about quality. And yes, there is uh, quantity that comes as well. But it's always about the, the quality. Because he says that he leaves the 99 to go after the one. Excuse me, guys. Oh, one second. Okay, so 
Let me get a drink of water here real quick. In verse 12, there is no salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, which we must be saved. So there's only the name of Jesus Christ comes salvation because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. No, there is not many ways to the Father, but one way. Jesus Christ is the gate. He is the door. And it's his precious blood, his sacrifice, you know, and we're justified by grace through faith, you know, and it's not of ourselves. It's a gift of God, not works, and no one can boast. So it's it's about us being loving and obedient to his word. You know, that's it's not an obligation of works, it's it's love and it's our reasonable service. You know, and that's the thing, it's like even though Peter and John, they were, as, as far as they were perceived, illiterate and uneducated. But the Holy Spirit is our tutor. I'd rather be tutored by the Holy Spirit than have all the, the doctrines and teachings of a man which profits us nothing if it doesn't line up to his holy word. You know, because ultimately, like, the Holy Spirit is the best tutor. You know, he's, he's a comforter like Christ. He's a teacher like Christ. And, and that's the thing, it's like they realize that they have been with Jesus. So do, do people around you realize that you've been with Jesus? Um, it's It should be evident, you know. It's There's difference between us and those who are in the world. Uh, because Jesus said that we're in the world, but not of it. And that's what holy, holy means, is to be separate unto you know, unto God, it's like by ourselves, it's, it's different. There's a difference. It's not that we're better uh, in any way. We only are what we are by his mercy and grace, you know, any of us, because apart from him, we could do nothing. Apart from the vine, we are nothing. Apart from that vine, we lose our, nur our nourishment, you know, our nutrients, because he's the vine, we're the branches. If we remain in him, and he and us, we can bear much fruit, but apart from him, we can do nothing. So we can't be apart from him. You know, a son or a daughter doesn't get to cease being a son or a daughter at different times of the day or different times of the week. No, that's 24-7 we reflect our Father, that we give him glory and honor and praise, because he's worthy of none less. And... And really, the power of God and the miracles and the signs and wonders are to point people to Jesus Christ. And also to shut our adversaries down because like, they couldn't say anything against this. It was a notable miracle that all acknowledged because this, this crippled man was crippled, but then now he is not by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, whom they crucified. You know. Because it says that all eyes will see him, even those who pierced him. So all those who are persecuting Christ now as well will see him. But we pray, we got to pray right now that they would come to Christ. Those that can, we just pray and cry out that they would know the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. You know, taste and see that he is good. You know, our friends, our families, whatever the case, we need to pray that their eyes be opened, you know, because there's a, there's a blindness, you know, there's a stupor, a slumber upon this nation and upon this world, and people need to be awoke before it's too late. So we just cry out for them to be awoke, Lord Jesus, and that you would just shake them awake, Lord, before it's too late, and that they would know you and be known by you. And my brothers and sisters, families, the loved ones, God, the seeds that they have sown, God, to grow mightily and gloriously to the praise and honor of your righteous name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So, guys, um, we, you know, as it goes further down, it says that um, they threatened them to not say the name of Christ or teach in the name of Christ anymore. But as in that, that second dream that I had, um, when they said that, I'm representing them. I corrected them, said, no, I'm right, representing Jesus Christ. So that means that the name above Christ is the name that we acknowledge above all names, which every knee 
will bow in heaven, earth, and below the earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Lord to the glory of Father in heaven. <clears throat> so that's going to go on. But what a blessing it is to do that now. Like we're honored and blessed to be that now, to be the ambassadors, to be the hands and feet of Christ. Um, so that will uh, come as well. But we have to listen to God above man because God is God. Mankind does not because it's, it says, Cursed is the man who trusts in man. We have to trust in God solely and not that we dismiss, you know, uh, a brother or sister. No, but like God has to be our all in all. He has to be our first. That's why he is God because he alone is that. Like there's none other like him. He is uniquely God, you know, and he's set apart unto himself. And he's worthy of that, you know, of that relationship, of that acknowledgement, of that adoration and worship. Because he is holy. He is holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And he is to come quickly. So we've got to be found watching. You know, the word says to, to watch and pray. We need to watch and pray every day that we're kind of worthy. But you know what? It's it's also because it's not so we can just get up out of here. No, it's so that others can know Jesus Christ, that we can rescue others through his Holy Spirit, you know, to snatch them out of the very pits of hell, you know, from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light through the Son of God, the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, because he will use us as his battle axe and he trains our hands for war and gives us strength for battle we are in a fight in the fight of our lives but greater is he that's in us than he that's in this world no weapons formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises up in judgment against us we shall condemn for this is our heritage as saints and our righteousness is of him saith the lord you know and I'm looking at this uh, scripture verse in front of me that I have uh, scripture cards. And one is Jeremiah 23, 29. And it says, Is not my word like fire, says Yahweh, and like a hammer that breaks the rock to pieces. So we're going to break the lies of the enemies to pieces, the enemy's strongholds, these demons and devils with a flaming hammer and shatter them to pieces and to scatter the, the residue to the wind. But remember, we have to listen to God more um, and, and to know that God will use us. He will use us mightily in the days ahead. But we have to be, we have to be that vessel, you know, that chosen vessel and, and love and be an obedient vessel. Um, when he says to go, we go. When he says to speak, we speak. But if he says for us to be silent, that we be silent. For it says a wise man holds his tongue. So we have to be wise in the eyes of the Lord, not what mankind defines uh, wisdom or success, because those things are foolishness to God. Because he says he leads, use the weak to lead the strong and the, the base things of this world to make the wise things of this world foolishness, because they're foolishness to God. So be wise in the eyes of the Lord, you know, because um, that's true success is that we lay, live a life laid down for the Father. Um, and he says that if we lose our life for his sake, we will find it. You know, but if we try to save our life, we will lose it. So let's expend it all for him to the glory of God. And I can only say these things through his Holy Spirit because I need it as well. I need that boldness and courageousness every day to, to get up every day is sometimes it's a struggle. And I don't say that to complain. I just say it to proclaim that it's a fight that we are in. But I say it to encourage each and every one that we're all going through at different levels, different intensities. And yes, the intensities will, uh, get greater in the days ahead but know that we are more than overcomers in christ jesus and i love what romans chapter 8 verses 38 through 39 it says for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor to come no height no depth or any other created thing could ever separate us from the love of god which is in christ jesus our lord so that means no matter what comes in him we can never be separated but we have to stay in him you know that's up to us you know because he says if we draw near to him he'll draw near to us 
You know, we have to submit to him. That's the first step is submission to God, then resist in the devil, and then draw near to him, and he draws near to us. So there's steps that we have to take, you know, constantly, you know, going after him every day, you know, staying and praying without ceasing, um, and walking holy and humbly before God and being repentant, you know, um, he's he's coming back for that holy spotless bride because you know what he's worthy of none less you know the lamb is worthy of his sacrifice so praise god um all right guys i just pray you're encouraged and that you're blessed and refreshed uh and you know what we're too blessed to be stressed uh and we're not gonna complain we're gonna proclaim you know um there's just some kind of little ditties that the lord gave me uh that i would do at work you know and you know, just sometimes chaotic things going on and it just be kind of like my battle cry, uh, throughout the day. Um, <clears throat> that's what we need. We need it now. It's just to always to have the, his word rooted in our hearts because, um, so nobody can snatch it away, you know, and that's, what's going to be our refreshment. That's the well that never runs dry. He's the living water. So we need to drink from that well every day throughout the day. You know, so our cups overflow and everyone around us. You know, His Holy Spirit will fill us and fill us to such measures as never before because we are in such a time as this and such a time as this that's to come. Um, but know that God will provide because he's not just a good provider. He's not just Father. He's the greatest provider, the greatest Father. And everything that is needed, that is necessary, he will provide us with to, to overcome, to be a blessing to others, to draw others to himself, and to destroy the works of the devil. All right, guys, uh, I just pray you're blessed. And if you have any prayer needs, just uh, please write them below. And we just want to stand in agreement because it says a threefold cord cannot easily be broken. So we need to stay unified now more than ever. Uh, and know that I don't just say it to say it. Uh, we truly do love you guys, and we're family. We're we're gonna be in glory together, and you know, in the kingdom of God, and rejoicing together. You know, so we need to do that now. You know, because this earth is just a training ground for eternity. You know, this is a dress rehearsal. You know, for what's to come. Um, God bless you guys. God keep you. May God shine His face on you now in the days ahead. And I'm just going to pray us out. Father, I thank you, God. Thank you for your message. Thank you for your holy word. Thank you for your, your presence, God. For your presence is heaven. And I thank you, Lord, for my brothers and sisters and those that just need a touch from you, God. Whatever way or shape, whatever that looks like, God, I just pray their needs be met. Because you always meet our needs. And you surpass it, God. Because you are greater than what we could ever imagine or think, Lord. And I just bless the name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names, the only begotten Son of God, sent of the Father, who was born of a virgin, who lived a holy, righteous life, 24-7 submission to the Father, who died on the cross, took our iniquities, our, our shame, our pains, our curses, and he nailed them to the cross, defeated sin, hell, death, and the grave, and all demons and devils are put under his feet, and they're put under our feet in and through him. And I thank you, Lord, that you're coming back quickly, Lord, and your reward is with you. So let us watch and pray and to be found faithful in you, Lord. And I just bless the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. All right, guys, I love you. God bless you.